The Betfred Middle Distance Championship Leg 3 is next. It's a 0 to 80 handicap and a field of a gazillion in this. There's a load of them. And the all weather, 0 to 80. Obviously, not that many opportunities for these low, lower grade horses this week. And Dan Thompson's got one in here. Goodness me. Brailsford, Glorfell, Derek Hinton, Trapanga City, Darren Thompson, Norval Electric, Graham Clutterbuck, Voracious, Paul Parsons, Double Shot, Daniel French, Brave Spirit, Paul Parsons, Mulberry Tree, Martin Leadham, Superstar and Dancing Moon for Nick Driver, The Lucha Dragons, and Ram for Matt Cooper, Zuhar Galactic, Alex Cherry, Claret in Obi Wan, Friendly May, Alex Cherry, Lila for Obi Wan, Rackety Man, Alfie, Jamie Hopkins, Saddlewood Kill for Graham Clutterbuck, and Ulysses, Jamie Hopkins. And away they go. And. Big, big field for this. If you're wide, you might be in trouble. Friendly May and Zuhal Galactic. I've both got away well with Superstar and those three have gone over to the inside and are clear at this point. Being chased now by La Ram. Then comes Ratty Man Alpha and Double Shot with Northern Electric up there as well. Trapanga City is close up as well. I mean, Darren Thompson, a bit of an idea what it's like in the cheap seats. Uh, friendly May and Zuhar Galactic dispute the lead. Superstar is in third and a Ram four. And then Rakti Man Alfie. And they're clear of the rest of them are pretty much in a heap as they pass the seven pole. It's an Alex Cherry one two at the moment. Friendly May and Zuhar Galactic. Superstar is in third. And then La Ram in the red jacket on the inside of Rakti Man Alfie in the purple and the white seams and the purple and white stripes of Mulberry Tree has moved through into fifth with Norval Electric on that one's outside between the two of them Trapanga City then Saddlewood Keel Bradford Glove the top weight is on the inside just being passed by Ulysses who's getting considerably closer the one who's making good progress is double shot but at the moment the Alex Cherry pair are clear Friendly May and Zuhar Galactic past the four pole and they're clear in the lead. Mulberry Tree's now got onto the inside. Then comes Superstar. Then come, one that's coming wide on the track. They look to be the big dangers with Voracious absolutely flying through. And so too the bottom weight, Saddlewood Keel. But it's Zuhar Galactic there with two and a half to go. Zuhar Galactic is in the lead from Voracious. Saddlewood Keel. Here comes Double Shot who's absolutely flying. Now Ratiman Alfie gets going as well. But it's Double Shot who's burst into the lead. Double Shot then with a further and a half to go. Immediately pressed by Voracious. Ratiman Alfie, Zuhar Galactic is still there and here comes Claritin on the outside and Claritin has burst into the lane with a fur on the go, it's Claritin in front Claritin from Zuhar Galactic and Voracious and Ratiman Alfie and double shot Claritin's in front, needs a line to come Claritin from Voracious and Ratiman Alfie and Voracious is just getting up and Voracious from the Lucia Dragons who go from nowhere and Voracious takes it the one who was totally towed off was Dancing Moon and I think Paul Parsons has taken that one with Voracious. So the lower train is getting a bit of glory. Voracious for Paul Parsons, the winner. The Lucha Dragons for Matt Cooper was second. Ratiman Alfie or Jamie Hopkins third. Zuhar Galactic for Alex Cherry was fourth. And the fifth place horse again has disappeared because the card's gone down too quick. La Ram for Matt Cooper. So look at that. All of the placed horses were in the 40s. With Voracious rated 72, so there you go.